This world is just too small. Who's there? This is... Why are you in my heart? Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. And now... The little I have left is slipping away. Open the door.
A meteor shower! I can't see much from here. Ah! Oh. I've got time to spare. You want a piece of me too? Yeah! Yeah! Win! Gotcha! I'm messing around here for. I'm gonna miss the meteor shower. Help! Come on! Wow. Why does it seem so... familiar? <laughs> Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, whoa. Here. I get one, too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charm shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Why, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Well... Tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Quit going easy on me. You're not gonna win unless you stay on the offensive. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Okay, let's wrap this up. experience.
Looks like I win. Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up with the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Oh! We don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. Hey, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. 
He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah! Stay sharp, then! That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> Ventus. Huh? Who are you? Or you'll never see Terra again. What? Get real! I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. 
Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? It's okay. You. I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. A diamond thief! Take cover, <laughs> you fools! <gasps> That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Terra. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Terra. <sighs> Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it. Stay where you are. All right. Then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah.
gotcha! Well, spot it, Rotor, stop it! I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. those little men live. There! What's wrong? These horrible trees! They tried to crack me! Ah, oh, 
that's okay. You were probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Oh, thank you. I feel quite better now. I'm sure I'll get along, somehow. But I do need a place to sleep at night. Would you know anywhere I might? Well, I saw a house just up ahead. Come on, I'll take you there. Oh, I'm Ventus. Then, for short. Thank you, Ven. My name's Snow White. Great. Let's get going. I'm pretty sure you'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. Uh. Someone's asleep in here. The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Huh. Couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? Oh no, he's not a thief. He rescued me. You mustn't be moved. I mustn't be fooled by him, Princess. Just go on and get! Please don't send him away. You see, he helped me when I was lost. And oh, so very frightened. What happened? Well, I was picking flowers by the wood, and there was a stranger there. He had a sword, but it was like a key. And then these monsters came and... A sword like a key? Terra! You mean this stranger saw you and sent his horde of evil demons after you? Terra would never do that! Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who's your friend. Princess, you trustn't be so musting. Oh, uh, trust him. He's a lion! Mark my words! I'll prove it! Back 
か Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Eh? Oh, I thank you, my pet. To tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> Haven't I seen that sword before? Terra has one. You know Terra? Oh, yes, yes. That ruffian pointed one of those at me, asking about some Xehanort. My poor heart nearly stopped. That doesn't sound like him at all. Ma'am, where did Terra go? I'm sure I have no idea. <sighs> Must you all menace a poor granny so? What? No, I, I was just... Tara, what did you do? <sighs> Flinderelli! Flinderelli! Come on! Not a flurry! Not a flurry! Now, Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in the house! Somebody never saw her for! Oh, a new friend! Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear! <sighs> what is going on? Tell me how I got so small! <sighs> Don't be afraid. Oh! 
how interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Mouse? Jack, you better explain things to him. Yes, uh... huh? Now, now, now! Look, a little guy, break your easy! Not a worry, pal. We like you. Flinda really like you, too. She's a nice, very nice, nice. <laughs> Come on, now! Zunza! Name it, Jack! I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. Shut up, Vin Vin. Need a set up? Ask a Jack. Cinderella? Oh well. Time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while, Vin. Wow, I guess she's got her hands full. Shut work, work, work. Step money, keep a Flinderelli busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much, though. No, not so Flinderelli. She work a hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, maybe you can help me find him. His name's Terra. You seen him? Eh, uh, no, no. Never saw Terra before. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Come on! Follow me! Gotta see the house! Hey! What's that? That's a palace! King's palace! Gonna be a big ball tonight! Is Cinderella going? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm. I'm going to the royal ball tonight. <sighs> I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Cinderella. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. Work, work, work. She'll never get a dress done. Say, got an idea. Vin Vin Hipper Jack. With what? Fix up in the really dress for the ball. But what do we need to get? Work around the house. Lots of pretty, pretty things. Okay, let's do it. I'll go find whatever we need. Jacques, you get things set up here. Zunza. Rusafi. Rusafi? Rusafi, a cat cat. Mean, sneaky. Jump a two, bite a two. Ha! Gotcha. Still needs a pity, pity pearl. Leave it to me. Oh, there it is. Flurry, flurry, Ben Ben! Time to play, cat! Bin-Bin! Take the pearl, Jack! 
I'll hold them off. Run! Yes, yes. Thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? good friend. Now, let's get that dress finished. Oh well, what's a royal ball? After all. I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely, completely wonderful. Cinderella! Is that my dress? Yes. It's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. Why, it's... it's such a surprise! Flurry, flurry! Time I go, Flitter Belly! Oh, thank you. Jack Jack hope of Flitter Belly dream come true. What's up, Inventory? Huh? I wonder... <laughs> Being a Keyblade, Keyblade Master, Master is all I've dreamed, dreamed about! about. Well, you're well, not you're the, not only, the one. only one. I know. You, you me, and Ven all, all share, share the same, same dream. dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ven Ven dream come true, too. I just need to keep on believing. Right? Zuck, zuck. Still no sign of Terra. Huh. You get away from her! What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Who are you? I'm Ventus. But you can call me Ven. Oh, you don't seem bad, dear. I'm certain you have a pure heart. Just like our precious Aurora. Can you tell me why she's sleeping? Long ago, Maleficent cursed her. Now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. 
The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along, follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep. Careful, they're Maleficent's. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. Tension! No sleeping on the job. That should do it. Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name. Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage in the Glen. What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry. We can't stay here. Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? 
Maleficent. Only because you stole it in the first place. A Keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the Keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. <gasps> Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice! There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ven, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like right now, he's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. <sighs> Sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then! Where's he hiding? <gasps> Alright! What did you mean about Terra being a different person? Exactly what I said, idiot. The Terra you know will be gone forever. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard! Stupid or true? <gasps> a Keyblade? Good. Let's see what you're made of.
Master's orders, but so what? As far as I'm concerned, this job here is done. Don't worry, you're safe. are not something you use just to bully somebody around. Here, I'll show ya. We both will. Huh? before. I owe you. The name's Ventus. What's yours? I'm Mickey! I see you've got a keyblade. Yup! I've been training under the great Yun Sid. He found out the world's are in trouble, and I sort of took off without telling him. Well, that makes both of us. I ran off too. All I have to do is think it, and the Star Shard will take me anywhere I want to go. At least I thought it would. I haven't quite got the fine points down like... When or where. It just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to. But I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here. <laughs> you know, it might not be an accident. Maybe it starts working because it's reacting to something.
Becky? Hold on. The castle is presently closed. But somebody just came this way. He's a friend of mine. We aren't aware of any visitors. Now run along home, boy, before the monsters get you. I could have sworn it was him. Huh? They're here! Radiant Garden shall not fall under the lights of you. Leave this to me! Stop! But you're just a child! Uh. Now who do you think will defend the castle huh? if you two huh? go skipping off? But... that boy... Never you worry about him. He's a special case. A what? Evan is right. Lord and Castle come first. The boy will have to fend for himself. Which reminds me, his lordship was asking for you. A heart devoid of darkness, stripped clean of it at that. Very questionable. <laughs> oh, oh dear, dear, back off your feet. <laughs> You'll not be getting my money. Uh, look out! I, I will! Yeah. Hold on. Wait a moment, laddie. Uh, don't I even get a chance to repair you? Oh, you don't have to. Yeah. Now just hold your horses. I didn't mean my fortune. Maybe a wee bit of gold uh, or a small token of... Well, could you make it fast? I know. I've just the thing in my hat. Huh? <laughs> Come here. Huh? You can tell me, lad, you came here from another world, didn't you? Uh. <laughs> Don't worry. My bill is sealed. Your secret's safe with me. I'm not be asking you any awkward questions. You see, it is the same with me. I asked a wizard named Merlin to bring me here from another world. After all, adventure is the mother of industry, eh? Eh? Great! That all? Ugh, but I'm holding you up, lad, eh? Here, these are lifetime passes to Disney Town. You love buckets of fun there. But my name is not Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> there you are. Enough for you and two grown-ups. Huh. Huh. Hang it all! Can't I get a moment's peace? <laughs> Mister, get inside. It's not safe out here. Oh, ordering me about. Now that's unsafe. After all, I'm Merlin, the wizard. Oh, <laughs> another scamp looking to wake the powers inside him. Is that it? What? How'd you know? <laughs> we wizards have a knack for knowing such things. The book is inside on the table. You may have a gander if you like. What book?
got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh, yeah. I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Ven. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. We'll never badmouth Terra again. <laughs> you saw the boy in the mask? Uh, y yes? Venetus. Ven, you let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same world as you, and... I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. <sighs> Listen to yourself, Aqua. Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only- Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now. All right? Terra, please, listen. The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. Mm. So now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra. And you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? Now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. Yenso, where are you? Answer me! Ah, there you are. Didn't I warn you not to wander off, child? I see we owe you our thanks. We have done our best to raise the boy, since his poor parents are not here to do it. Oh, you're on your own, huh? Sir, I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's a tall guy, dressed kind of like me. Have you seen him? Hmm. Perhaps I did see him in the Outer Gardens. Just follow this road. 
Thank you. No, thank you for keeping Yenso out of harm's way. And, well, let's say, I have a feeling we are destined to cross paths again. I can't do that, Ven. Uh, why not? I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Ven. I just, when I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. Oh, I better tell Aqua. Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... He's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do as I say and go home. <sighs> Why won't you let me? I don't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? Given up already? Come on, Ven. I thought you were stronger than that. Ven, you almost had him. Just try it again. Hey, wait. You're teaming up now? You see all those dents and mix you got? Each one of those is proof you're learning. You're trying too hard to move your body. You need to learn to let your body move you. Right? <clears throat> In your hand, take this blade. And so long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be made. <laughs> What's that about? Who went and made you master? Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. This yours? Lee, we don't have time for this. Lighten up, Isa. It'll only take a sec. You still play with toy swords? That's cute. Mm. Now this right here... Ta-da! What do you think? Not a whole lot. You're just jealous. I'm Lee. Got it memorized? What's your name? 
Ventus. Okay, Ventus, let's fight. Fight? Why would I want to do that? You scared of losing? Come on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> You had enough? Cause I'm willing to call it a draw if you are. Huh? <laughs> right. From where I stood, the only thing you drew was a big L on your forehead for loser, lame, laughable. What? Isn't this the part where you cheer me up or something? You're just having a bad day, or that's what you get for pulling your punches. <sighs> Some friend. Oh, you mean I was supposed to lie? You see what I gotta put up with? Sure hope you don't have friends like him. Huh? <laughs> 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 Lee, we have to go. Okay. Already? I'll see you when I see you. After all, we're friends now. <laughs> Get it memorized. Okay, Lee. What is it with you and picking up stray puppies? I want everybody I meet to remember me. Inside people's memories, I can live forever. I know I won't forget you. Believe me, I try all the time. See? I'm immortal. You're obnoxious. You ready? Well, I can tell you are. Must be nice. <laughs> Knowing who your friends are. The mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giacchetti. Uh, um, young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say a word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow. I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out, then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No, oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Philly, this stinks! Now we can't open the ice cream shop! Trouble? Rescue is on the way! A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. Well, 
if it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved. Afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now, I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just gonna make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice. This machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, if Captain Justice can't fix it, there ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him. Here you go. These are the directions for the machine. kid might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token. Nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. Pete just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows 
that nobody's going to vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I wish somebody was looking out for me. It's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? Ah, I told you, I'm book solid. N-O spells forget it. Uh, what? And who in hell a canarsis are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! All right, Eric, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <sighs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes? Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two, one. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. Unburst monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I'll help, too. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> the games are coming up. So I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I wanna train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna go sign up right now! The games, huh? Sounds fun! Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You wanna be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. 
Herc for short. Just call me Vin. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Coliseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? A true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Huh? Come on, we're friends, aren't we? You bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, 
because they already got a heavy hitting contender cleaning up over there in the East Bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're going to have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender? Ven, come on! Uh, okay! Yes, we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. This is really close. Hey, we got trouble! There's monsters loose in town, and if they get crash the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. You won't get past me. Huh? Perk! What about your match? Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone. Because I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come on, yeah. let's finish this together. Sorry that I made you lose that match, Herc. Oh, come on. You don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Ugh. What? You didn't <gasps> save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won, then? I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said huh? I coached hmm? the winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart and care about people. And sure, you both get high marks for that. But this time, only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Then that means... 
Oh, man! I was this close! <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. The name's Zack. Congratulations, Herc. Thanks, Zack. Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Hey, don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training Herc, were you? Nah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... incentive. It's, uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, Herc here is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're a true hero. Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh. So you mean never come back? Hey, watch it! <laughs> huh? What's that? Whoa! Burst! Try that again! Don't get any more ideas. These guns are locked into your genetic signature. Huh. An intruder? All right, you. Don't get any funny ideas. So you're the intruder! Identify yourself! My name is Ventus. The monster I was chasing boarded your ship. Nice try. If there was another intruder aboard, we'd have detected it. Huh? Intruder in the machinery bay! We lost control of the engines! It's some kind of monster! Now you tell me. Stay right there. I have lots of unpleasant questions to ask you. This is my fault. I have to do something! Huh? Vern? 
What? You know Terra and Aqua? Friend Circle. Hey, is that a Wayfinder? Oh, huh? Huh? The engines are under too much stress. We're risking an explosion. What am I doing? There's no time. No, you need to stay here. It's too dangerous. I don't know how you did it, but you won't get away again. <laughs> you haven't fooled me. You can bat your eyes all you want at the Grand Councilwoman so she'll reconsider your sentence. But I see you for what you really are. An abomination that's only instinct is to destroy everything it touches. <laughs> What is it? I see. Your Wayfinder broke. Well, don't worry. 
Friendship's more than an object. Friendship... Circle? <laughs> Don't let the little mimic fool you. You saw for yourself what kind of monster that thing is. All it knows how to do is hurt and destroy. Monster? He helped me stop the monster! You must have triggered some sort of mutation. Hidden in the little freak's genetic coding. Van! Run! That's right. We are friends. Better say your goodbyes now, because 626 is about to be destroyed! Stop that! Come on! Sound the alert! Prisoners on the loose! Don't let them get away! Name's Ventus, but everybody just calls me Ven. Huh. Guess when I sat down to rest, I must have fallen asleep. But where'd you come from? Well, you see... <laughs> all right, all right, we're going! So long, Ven! Hey! Where are you guys off to? Pink saw a shooting star, and we're gonna go hunt it down! A shooting star? Mind if I come along? Of course not! But you gotta agree to follow us! Yeah! It's, uh, right over! That way! By the Indian camp! Ready, man? Forward, march! Okay! Here. Never seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. Well, if you say so. Tension! Now then, ma'am, I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure. Real pirate treasure? Sure! Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy! Let's go, let's go! Ow! Oh! Tinkerbell? What's gotten into you? We were all supposed to go hunt for a shooting star together. Forget that. Pirate treasure is way more fun. Tink, you're coming with us. 
Well, that's no way to respond to an invitation. Come on, Ben. You're a better sport than her, right? I'd love to join you, but first I want to find the shooting star. Mickey's Star Shard? <laughs> my shooting star and a pixie! Must be my birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats! Well, tell that cowardly sparrow, if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon! Stop! Scram! Freeze! Stop! Wind! Thunder! Drift! I lost them. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, help! Tinkerbell's been pixie-napped! Then I'm too late! Hook's gonna pay for this! He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too! Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet! Peter Pan, ahoy! Man the long tom and fire! Huh? Huh? Ah! Cannon fire? Where's it coming from? On the water! Over there! Tink, it's you! And you're all right! What? A strange fellow with a funny-looking sword has... <laughs> Hold on! I gotta stop that cannon! Okay, I'll go after Hook. Right. Tink, if you would. <sighs> what? It's pixie dust! 
Bet you feel lighter now, don't you? Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. Uh. <laughs> At last that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle me eyes! No! Don't tell me! Oh, Jim! Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, with that salt! No! Not again! Please stay away from me! I don't think so. I told you about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Oh, uh, sorry, but we lost it all the treasures. Oh well, that's too bad. Ah, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something, anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead, if you wanna. Yeah, that's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? I don't know. Hmm. How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. Enough for all those treasures and lots more. Okay, it's a deal. Wait, Tink. 
I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, Ben will always have friends waiting to meet him. Gorge. The king must be pretty far away by now. Him. Oh. Huh? Look, that feller's got the star shard the king borrowed. King? Oh, you must be talking about Mickey. I saw him. What? <laughs> huh? Hey, take it easy. Yeah, we'll Let's go. See you. Yen said, sir, we just got a clue as to where the king might be. Ah, hmm. Ventus. Huh? Ericus has told me much about you. If I am not mistaken, you were ordered to return home. Well, sir, I... No matter. Huh? Mickey has difficulty following directions, too. <laughs> Where is this clue to Mickey's whereabouts? I got it! This feller, Venquist, uh, Ventilate, uh, uh, Veggie, uh... Just kind of Ven. Sure. That's what I usually go by. Ven had it when you got here. Please explain. I ran into Mickey, but we got sent flying into the light. I don't know where he went. Oh. <laughs> He wasn't in the same world as the one where I found that. As I thought, Mickey has been hurling himself from one world to the next. That explains why I could not discern his location. You can now, can you? Yes, I can. a dark and powerful force that is interfering with my magic. Just tell us where the king is, Mr. Yen Sid, sir, and me and Donald will go right there and save him. You too? That may not be adequate. But I'm the captain of the king's royal knights! I'll find him. I recognize the place we saw. You don't Mickey. No, I owe him. Mickey saved me once, and I can't risk putting his friends in danger. Oh. Don't worry. I swear I'll bring him back safe. Very well, Ventus. We will leave it to you. Again, boy. Uh-huh. <sighs> 
Ah, yes. So you're starting to realize what you lost. Oh, but not for good. You had to lose in order to find. Now it can all be yours again if you only reach out and take it. Reclaim the part that left you. Clash with him, pure light against pure darkness to forge the ultimate key. The all-powerful Keyblade! Not the key blades you and I carry. Key, the most ancient metal. Some say Kai, but the meaning is the same. Death, a letter that spells endings. And I have the power to make it? Correct. Ericus knows it too. He knows exactly what you are. The Master? Haven't you ever wondered why he never granted you permission to leave his side, to grow stronger? Ericus was frightened of you. If you were to learn the truth, realize what you are, he never trusted you. Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? Never let me see other worlds, no matter how much I asked. Go! Ask the man yourself. Learn the truth, and remember you have a greater purpose! What am I? What has the Master been keeping from me all this time? Ventus, you're alone? I thought Akko would... Uh. Well, what matters is that you're home. You don't belong outside this world yet. You need to stay here, where you can learn... In your prison? What? That's your excuse. For keeping me imprisoned here, isn't it? What did you hear? That I'm supposed to be some weapon. Some kind of keyblade! I knew it. Xehanort. He could never let it go. Wait, Xehanort! There is a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once, in legend. We know so little about the Keyblade War. Only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale, and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The 
The Keyblade needs to be forged. And with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool. You would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity. I will never allow it to end. Not while I live! But once again, you have it all wrong, Erythus. Darkness is a beginning, you see, not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light, do we not? Poetic excuses! If words won't dissuade you, only one thing will! Darkness taken you, Xehanort! Not your concern. I failed. I had the chance to stop him and couldn't do it. But I will not fail again! Uh, Master, what do you... The Keyblade has no place in this or any world. Xehanort has made his purpose clear, and I am left with no choice. Forgive me, but you must exist no more! Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside! No! You will not heed your master! I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate! Enough, Terra! He's right! Quiet! Terra! <laughs> You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! The darkness taking you, Terra! Wait, Terra! Somewhere? I'm through with you. Well, I'm just getting started with you. You're strong enough now to fulfill your purpose. So what are you waiting for? Join with me, right here and now. Become the Keyblade. No. I won't do it. He told me the only way the Keyblade can be forged is if you and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken to talk back. Because you're trying to hold it in. 
Let the dark impulses waken in the pit of your heart. Release them here and now. Sharpen your fear into rage. You must. If you do not let the stone within you run its course, it will wipe you from the face of the world. Make no mistake. You... Uh... Do it. Embrace the darkness. Produce for your master the key blade. Die than use the power. Feckless neophyte. If I must, I will extract the darkness from within you myself. creature from Venture's Rhythm. To you, the name Vanitas shall be given. Yes, Master. Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me, at the one and only place to spawn the Keyblade, the Keyblade Graveyard. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. Then we'll see how long you play the pacifist. Wait! Where I'll put an end to this. Friends forever. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ven. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. 
But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Vanitas to fight, and make some kind of Keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, Ben. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend, just put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, keyblades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. Uh. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What? Fen! Aqua! Done it, Ventus. <laughs> now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. <laughs> the Keyblade will be forged! <laughs> the inverse come from you? It happened when you and I were split into two. The negativity took shape as these monsters. They are what I feel. A horde of fledgling emotions under my control. I released them in all the worlds I could. Hoping to lure you away from home and isolate you from your master. We <laughs> needed to make you stronger. The Unversed were the perfect opponents. And better yet, no matter how many times you defeat them, their negativity flows right back into me. You never stood a chance against us, Ventus.
our union was not finished. The Keyblade shouldn't stay broken like this. Join me now. We can complete the Keyblade! I've got a better idea. How about I destroy you both? <laughs> the Keyblade is made of your heart too, Peter. If you destroy it, your heart will vanish forever. Whatever it takes. Anything to save Terra and Aqua. <laughs> it's always about your friends, isn't it? At least I have some. I've become a part of their heart. Just as they become a part of mine. My friends are my power, and I'm theirs!
so warm. I remember now. This is your heart. <laughs>